What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. Okay, if you guys follow the channel, you know on Friday we did our announcement and first look on that new Pixel 6 and 6 Pro uh, January software launch. It was talked about and talked about and talked about to no extent since they paused the December update. They've had terrible communication in regards to it and there was a lot riding on this January update. Well, if you remember in that video, we were not 100% sold on what changes it actually caused for our Pixel 6 um, and 6 Pro. Well, those hesitations are unfortunately coming to turn out to be real issues. So I've heard and a lot of people are commenting that they are having similar issues, if not the exact same ones, but they are being replicated pretty frequently. And a lot of it stemming from the data connection. For us personally, on our 6 Pro, we have never had any issues with data connectivity. But what I want to show you guys is, and I'm going to get off my Wi-Fi, so you can see we are in a good area here where you get T-Mobile UC, which is now that ultra capacity band or whatever they want to go for. Um, but it's their highest tier and fastest internet. Well, what happens is I'm going to try to go online and say go to Yahoo. And sometimes it'll load up fine, like it did on this one. But other times when I go to try to go to, let's say, Android Police or just Google, um, what happens is that UC connection shows for a while and then randomly it drops out and actually just goes to 5G. So the issue is not that it's dropping down to a slower network speed necessarily, it's that the data connection is becoming unreliable and unstable. So you get a lot of those failed Chrome web page loads or even if you're an app, it just keeps spinning. These are issues I wasn't experiencing before. The camera latency bug where you would double tap the power button to launch with a shortcut, um, that's somewhat been relevated. You can see it's still a delay, but it's loading up pretty good in that picture there, right? These issues have been prevalent since beforehand. Same with the data issues, but this is the first time we've experienced it on here. What's really becoming concerning is now with these devices, other people have had issues either returning them or exchanging them through Google, or they're getting replacement devices which is having the same issue, which leads us to believe one of two things could be true. The first is that it's actually a hardware issue, or it has something to do with the new Tensor chip and the software is just not talking right to the new hardware. Um, obviously we're speculating, we have no idea what the actual issue could be, but everything from slowdowns to worsening battery life, which is my next topic I want to talk to you about. On our Pixel 6 Pro specifically, um, we have never needed to really re-up a charge multiple times a day, maybe once, but now with this new January patch, it has become a regular thing where just talking to you here, I've lost a few percentage of my battery. Um, we're down to 84% again. Um, it's troubling because not everyone's around a, a, a charging source all day long, right? If you can't rely on your battery, uh, that's going to be an issue. I think, and not to ride the coattails of MKBHD and all them, but I can see why now, even after we personally held hope for the January update to, to fix these issues, the inconsistency in photo processing, the delay in camera lag, the bad battery life, and now these intermittent software glitches that keep coming about, as well as the jittering on scrolling in apps. Um, this is just not something that Google should be uh, mass producing. I was talking to one of our other commenters down in the other video we were talking about, and like everyone says, you buy a phone for what you can get out of it today, what it can do for you today. The potential is still here for this Pixel 6 series, but you cannot expect consumers now, three months later, if not going on four now since release, to be able to do standard functions. You expect your phone to be able to actually connect to the internet when you want to use it. You expect to be able to browse or open an app in order to find what you need at any given point. That's why we have these amazing devices in our pocket. So to not be able to have that reliability makes it so hard to recommend right now. And just to say that, oh, it'll be okay, Google's working on it. Very true, they are. They're clearly having a priority on this, but the delay from the Pixel 5 series and prior, the delay in actually resolving these bugs since launch, the delay that no one even realized these were issues at launch, it's kind of all red flags right now, and it's not the best look for Google. So 
I don't want to ramble more on this video, but just know this. A lot of people that January update helped, but even more people that I'm talking to seem to not be very well receptive of this update having fixed everything. So battery life again, camera issues, software lag, freeze ups, uh, you name it. Let me know in the comments down below if you're still experiencing these, but at this time, again, now we're riding on almost five days into this. Uh, this January update that we were so ready for and so delayed and so hopeful doesn't seem to be the, the cure-all for this. So, again, let me know in the comments down below. Hopefully, 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 Google will be able to fix this and modify it in the coming months. But again, currently, until those bugs and kinks are worked out, I do not recommend this. I'm probably going to pull my SIM card back out of this and go back to my iPhone for now or maybe the full 3. Uh, I don't know, we're looking to get an Oppo Find N in the house recently and, and check that out, but even at this price point, I think a 5A might be a better bet. Um, save yourself some money until everything gets fixed. And there you can see for the first time it actually dropped to LTE randomly and right back to 5G Ultra Connectivity. I mean, yeah, the Ultra Capacity is back, it was just on LTE, but you can see what I'm talking about. So yeah, hold off on this for a little bit guys. Let's see if Google can fix it, but right now it's still disappointing. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.